Okay, so the first one we were saying, that ball a bit too far forward. We've yeah. moved it back now. Just a Probably speed. about a yeah. couple of inches, maybe. Yeah. Doesn't seem a lot, and it isn't really a lot when you think about it, but in reality, at the point of contact, two inches either way makes a big sure. difference where that ball's going to go. In terms of the actual swing, we actually look at these swings now at the top of the back swing. Nothing's really, again, elbow staying down nicely, so good sort of, nothing's really changing at all. We're going to look for there's your back swing. So those swings there now, if we sort of play to spot the difference, there's nothing really. Just the fact now on the left-hand side, you're also a little bit behind the ball in effect because they're now this ball is further back, this one was too far forward. So the golf ball now is more towards your left instep. There it's down by your left heel, which is fine. So as you come back down to the golf ball now, because that ball's slightly further forward, okay, the contact's a little bit late in the swing. You're catching it a little bit after the club's bottom bottomed out, get a little bit low on the club face, a little bit left with the club face, resulting in a sort of a, a low left hooky one. Whereas this one now a lot more solid contact. Club now flying towards target, getting a nice little draw there. The only reason on occasions it sometimes goes further left than we want. From the top here now, we don't move as much to the left as we do in this case. It's a good movement now. Top of the back swing, moving on to that left side, transferring that weight nicely. And this was a good shot. If we don't transfer the weight so much, and that can happen for a number of reasons. One, your posture may have got a bit worse for whatever reason. You might go a bit slouch. Your body language isn't so good because you've had a few bad shots maybe. You could be tired. You may not be warmed up. You maybe have an injury. All these things can happen. You may be on a tee where you're oh, sort of a narrow fairway and you're scared of moving so much. So the body sort of stops and seizes up because of pressure or anxiety or whatever. So lots of reasons why the body will stop functioning. But once it does stop functioning, your arms just feel out of control because they're trying to manoeuvre past your body by themselves and there's no real control whatsoever so once you get to the top of the back so we can unwind nicely with the body back down to impact and release the club nicely through up onto that left side in a very good effective sort of finish position there right foot up on its toe all your weight now down to that left side we can see the fact your left foot starts to sort of roll onto the ankle there which is great you get into a nice sort of solid position everything's fully rotated to target again swing wise they're a very efficient and effective golf swing it was just before where you were setting up, the golf ball was being hit a smidgen late in the golf swing. And because the golf swing creates that sort of circle, as we said, you're catching it a little bit late in the circle. So it's a bit high on the club face, it's a bit low on the club face, high on the ball, and the ball going left. So if you start getting those sort of pulley ones or low shots to the left, just remember that checkpoint. We might have the ball become a little bit too far forward. Just double check it. Like I say, every month or so, I generally, if you're playing, hopefully now playing a bit more regularly, possibly. Well, I will be. Yeah. You need to sort of keep, just keep track of things, okay? Just make sure your car, your car goes in MOT and the services. You get your, your golf swing just checked up every month. Just sort of look at your setup. Again, you can put clubs on the floors like a crosshair. So, at address, what you'd have is clear these lines. We have a a golf club along your toes, and then a golf club sort of across there, so like a 90 degree crosshair, just to check you're in the right position. If you're in there, you know you're in a good start position, okay? Mirrors will check your grip and your posture. And, and everything else. All right, yeah, it? head movement's good. Yeah, we're staying nice over the golf ball. There's no sort of sway off the ball. Very good movement. That head's staying very still there. And we're rotating with that elbow staying down now, which is great. As we swing through the golf ball, we're watching the golf ball as we twist. There's no head down, which a lot of golfers do try and do. Keep the head down too. Your head now, your eyes are following that golf ball. They're looking down here. There's no head down here looking where the ball used to be. We're twisting through fully, which is why your follow through is so effective and and in a good position really because everything's going through with the ball not keep your head down as we all get told from day one unfortunately but uh, yeah okay. no good swing looking really good elbows down grips good just watch that ball position like I say with club from club it will always stay constant inside your left heel but what would happen is there's your hybrid there's sort of your seven iron there's your pitching weight so what the perception will be now the ball's moving back in your stance okay as the stance gets narrower if the gap between your from your left heel to the goal ball, should we say six inches, just for my ease of math. If your feet are 18 inches wide with a hybrid, then the ball is definitely one third, two thirds left of centre. If your feet now with a wedge are a foot apart, it's six inches, six inches, it's in the middle. Mm. It's not moving from the left heel, sort of up and down, adjusting. You're just standing with your feet a bit closer, which I think you'd naturally do. You wouldn't stand there with a three wood with your feet like this. And likewise, you wouldn't stand there with a pitching match with a really wide stance yeah. because the golf ball's a lot nearer. You're trying, you'll just become sort of equal as the club gets shorter. So, yeah. Make Great. sense? Let's have a couple more then and we'll. Uh...